Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from KiwiKing77.com and I'm here to do a video showing you how to manually update your Nexus device to Android 5.1 from Android 5.0. You'll see I have a Nexus 6 right here. Um, I'm going to show you on this device, however, the method to install these official update, update zips are the exact same on every Nexus device. So you'll see on my Nexus 6, I'm on Android 5.0.1. You might be on 5.0.2. Um, right now, I believe there's only update zips as of this, I'm making this video for the Nexus 6, Nexus 5, and I believe the Nexus 7, I believe more are gonna come in the near future, and you can just use this method. All download links are in the description of the video. Now, anyways, to install it, you're going to need a PC, and this is for if you're completely stock uh, and have stock recovery. Um, now, if you are rooted, you might be able to go into the Super SU app and hit Temporary Unroot and then go ahead and install it if you still have stock recovery. If you have a custom recovery, don't follow this method. Now, anyways, to get it installed, you need to go ahead and go into Settings, scroll all the way down, go to About Phone, and then find where it says Build Number and quickly tap on it about seven times until it says you are now a developer. And then go back and you'll see Developer Options show up, and I want you to go ahead and check USB Debugging and hit OK. Now, once USB Debugging is checked, I want you to grab your micro USB cable plugged into your PC and go ahead and plug it into your phone. Now when it's plugged in, I want you to go in Device Manager. If you have the drivers installed, if you don't, I will link to them in the description. But in Device Manager, you'll see Android ADB interface pop up. If for some reason it says device cannot be identified or anything like that, uh, what I want you to do is right click on Android ADB interface or whatever this says, update driver software, and then hit browse my computer for drivers. And then what I want you to click on is let me pick from a list of device drivers on your computer. And then you'll see a bunch of them here. Just try all of the ones that are installed. Like I said, I'll link to the drivers in the description, but try all of them and then just hit uh, just hit next after you're done clicking on whatever one uh, you want to try next. All right, but anyways, once you have USB debugging checked, we're ready to go. You need to download a file. Like I said, all downloads are in the description, the update zip file specifically for your device. So make sure you download the correct one. Like I said, everything's linked. Um, so go ahead and download that file on your computer now. You're also going to need to install the Android SDK and ADB on your computer. I will post a tutorial, a simple tutorial video in the description if you need to still install that on your PC. If you want to go ahead and manually update, you're going to need the Android SDK and ADB installed. All right, and once you have the Android SDK and ADB set up on your computer and that file downloaded, go ahead and go to your downloads folder and find the file, the correct file you downloaded. You'll see I have the Shamu one, which is the Nexus 6. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and right click and copy or cut either one, whichever one you want to do, and then go ahead and go back to that Android SDK, go into platform tools, and I want you to paste that file into the folder. So I hit paste, and you'll see down at the bottom there that file is right there. All right, so I cleared out that folder with excess files, and you'll see I just have this file right here. What you can go ahead and do is actually you can rename it to something like update, just so you know what it is, just update.zip. You'll see um, yours might not show.zip, but it is a zip zip file. Now what I want you to do is inside this platform tools folder, I want you to hold shift on your keyboard, right click, and hit open command window here. You'll see it show up when you hold shift and a command window is going to pop up. All right, once you have the command window up, I need you to type a quick, simple thing to get us into recovery. Now I want you to type ADB space devices in the command prompt and hit enter. Now what it's going to do is uh, your phone's going to pop this up, allow USB debugging. I want you to check always allow from this computer and hit OK. So just kind of make sure you do that on your Nexus device. And then you'll see on your computer it shows a list of devices attached. Now, if for whatever reason it says cannot find device, do that method I showed in the beginning with your device manager. All right, and once your computer is recognizing your device and the command prompt sees it, I want you to type ADB space reboot space recovery. What that's going to do is reboot us into our uh, stock recovery on our Nexus 6. You'll see it's rebooting it automatically. All right, now your Nexus is going to go to this screen. It might be different depending on what Nexus device you have. Now, to get past this screen, you need to try a combination of these three buttons, volume up, down, and the power button. Now, what I like to do is press the volume down button, then press the power button, volume up, press the power button, no, press the power button, then the volume up, and there it is. So I just press the power button first, and then the volume up, and it showed up. So now this is the stock recovery. Okay, now what I want you to do is use the volume buttons to navigate and go down to where uh, it says apply update from ADB, the first one down, and then press the power button to select it. Now when you press that down at the bottom here, it's going to say now send the package you want ADB sideload. So now we need to go back to our computer and that command prompt. All right, once we're back to our computer, I want you to type ADB space sideload space update dot zip. We rename that file. If you renamed it to something else, type whatever that file name is, but update dot zip. You need the dot zip. Don't put .zip.zip, .zip. just make sure it says update.zip, and then I want you to just press enter. 
All right, so you'll see it says device not found. I just unplugged it and replugged it back in, and it's going to go ahead and install these drivers again. So just if it says this device not found, just unplug it, replug it in, try again, then try those device manager options. All right, so you'll see I typed in the command prompt once more. Now I want you to press enter. Now it says loading uh, update zip. Now it's going to take a little bit of time. The file size is kind of large. Uh, it'll give you progress, and I'll be back once it's. And right now it's just sending it from the command file uh, from the command prompt. Then once it sends it, the phone's going to take it and install it. So I'll be back once it's at 100%. All right, just wanted to give a quick update. It looks like while the command prompt's still going with the percentage, it is going to install it on your device as well. You'll see it says writing everything install from ADB complete, um, and that's it. So it looks like we're done. So I was wrong when I said command prompt was just sending it over. It looks like it installs while it's after it sends as well. And now at the top here, you'll see reboot system now up at the top. Just press the power button to reboot the device. Um, and then what's going to happen is your phone's going to reboot. My guess is it's going to take a little bit longer than usual, so be patient with this boot up. It's probably going to say Android is upgrading, and then go ahead and, I guess, refresh all your apps, and then I'll be right back. All right, so like I said, it did Android is upgrading, and now it just booted back up, and we're back. So here we go. You should be on 5.1 to double check. Go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and there we go, Android version 5.1. Now again, I recommend you watch my review video on Android 5.1. I'll link to it in the description if you've not checked it out already. Uh, but yeah, so a lot has changed, at least on the Nexus 6, it's important to install it, in my opinion. I'll probably do a video explaining that uh, in the near future, but there you go. So you got Android 5.1 on your Nexus 6, um, along with any other Nexus device that has an OTA update. I forgot to include the Nexus 10, that one's included as well as of right now. So hopefully this video helped out, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up if it helped. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all links in the description video below. As always guys, thank you for watching.